Welcome to the second video in our Around the World quilt series from LearnHowToQuilt.com. In the first video, you learned about choosing fabric, laying out your quilt, and then sewing individual blocks together. Today, you'll find out about a faster method to use when cutting and sewing your squares. You can download these free directions at LearnHowToQuilt.com under the Patterns tab, or click on the link below. Fabric requirements are based on 7 inch squares, but any size square will do as long as you adjust the cutting sizes. Choose 7 fabrics and then lay them in a row. At a fabric store you can place bolts side by side, but at home just lay the cuts out on a table. Decide which fabrics look best next to each other. Label your fabric A to G. Refer to the handout for positioning. Coloring this pattern might help deciding on the fabric sequence. Unlike in the first series where you could play around with different layouts, when using strip piecing, you'll have to stick to your original sequencing. Following the cutting directions on this sheet, you'll cut one 7 inch square for the center. For the rest of the fabric, I followed this cutting guide. From the B fabric, I cut a strip. 7 by 28 inches. From the C, I cut a strip 7 by 20 inch, 28 inches. Also, these two strips together with a quarter inch seam. And then cut them into four 7 inch segments. You'll also need four 7 inch squares from fabric C. From the D fabric, you need to cut two strips that are 7 by 35, and you'll need the same amount from the E fabric two 7 by 35 inch strips. Sew these together, press, and then cut. You'll get five 7 inch segments from each set for a total of 10 7 inch segments. Then cut two 7 inch squares from each fabric. From fabric F and G, cut one 7 by 28 inch strip from each. I'm using this directional print here but I usually try to stay away from those. When I lay this out, you'll see what sort of problems might arise. Sew those strips together and then cut four seven inch segments. You also need to cut four seven inch squares from your F fabric. Place your squares near the layout board. To lay out your quilt, start in the center. Add the BC segments vertically. Then fill in with the single C blocks. Add the DE blocks vertically and then fill in with the extra blocks. Add the FG units vertically. I want all my stripes going in the same direction, so I really need to pay attention when adding the last blocks. Before you start sewing, take a photo for reference. Double check to make sure the stripes are all running in the right direction. So each row together. What I like to do is start putting right sides together and pin or hold the side to be sewn in my right hand and then stack in order. I'll take all the sections over to my machine, making sure that the side to be sewn is always on the right. Chain pieces sections together using a quarter inch seam. After sewing, I'll return the sections back to the wall and repeat this process of putting right sides together until all the rows are sewn. Press the seams in the first, third, fifth, and seventh row in the same direction. Then press the seams in the other rows in the opposite direction. This makes it easier to match the intersections when you have opposing seams. Pin the first two rows together and sew. Continue till all the rows have been put together. Hope you decide to try to make a trip around the world. This is a great pattern for beginners. These larger squares are fun for showing off larger print fabrics. Try experimenting with smaller size squares and make individual blocks. Place your blocks on point and then add them to other blocks with sashing or some other layout. Thanks for visiting LearnHowToQuilt.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and share our videos with your friends. Thanks.